This particular model here was made for 19 years, so it was arguably one of uh, the Alice Chalmers Company's more successful models. Um, this one is a magneto only, has an internal coil, does not have a battery on the tractor whatsoever. The previous owner, uh, I believe, was in the process of converting this to an electric start because somebody did add a starter to it, but there's no battery in here whatsoever and there's also no generator or alternator over here so somebody who's in the process of uh, converting this over to probably 12 volt um, with an electric start could not run any better the way it is and yes it's a hand crank start only but it's pretty easy to start I did a cold start on it to bring it out here in the field so We'll cut to that here in a minute. I'll show you the cold stuff. this together put a pretty nice paint job on it and uh, seat upholstery and they painted this thing top to bottom I have a bad back and this this tractor is actually very comfortable to operate it's got a nice firm backrest it's got a nice cushioned seat Right here is more evidence that somebody's in the process of switching this over to um, electric start. This is the ignition switch. I installed this myself so I would have a, a method of killing the tractor um, from the operator's position here. And if you're off the tractor, of course, you can reach in and, and push that button in. But you can also push this little red button on the magneto. And that grounds that little tab against the housing of the magneto and kills the spark so that's another way to shut the tractor down the firing order on these is the same as uh, the ford tractors one two four three This one even has the radiator shutters still present. These are almost always missing. The only thing that's missing is the control rod to operate the shutters. This belt and pulley system here operates the sickle bar mower. There's a shaft down in there that runs up to the front. Well, let me bring it on here, I'll show you. Here's the shaft as it comes from the rear and goes up here to this uh, coupler and this is on a uh, eccentric kind of a rotation which effectively moves this bar in and out like that and when the sickle bar mower is flat it causes the blades to oscillate in and out and whoever did this also put brand new blades on here I went through this whole thing also and adjusted everything and got it operational that's why it's a little bit dirty because I've actually used it but it's quite a contraption. These two lower frame rails and this entire apparatus is all uh, part of the support and operation of the sickle bar mower. All right, let's check out the WD-45. This one is a 1954. This is basically twice the tractor that the Model B is. It's twice the weight, twice the horsepower, 
made for uh, bigger jobs. We got some fat tires on this guy. Yeah, these are 16.9 by, by 28. The other thing cool, if you haven't seen these wheels before, these are spin out wheels. You can see those diagonal runners in there on the inside of the wheel. You can have a wider wheelbase in the back or narrower. This right here is a block off plate. This is where the belt pulley attachment would go if you had one. And there's part of the uh, draw bar assembly under there. The only thing wrong with this tractor at the moment is the inner hydraulic seal is leaking and the hydraulic fluid is leaking over into the transmission rear end side. So uh, this is the dipstick for the hydraulic fluid and it's just barely any on the tip there. No matter how much fluid I put in it, it leaks back down to that level. So unfortunately, that means I can't use the uh, three point until I get that seal fixed. But that's gonna be a larger project. You have to uh, actually split the tractor to get inside to replace that seal, unfortunately. And that's something I've never done. I think you have to split it right there because this is the hydraulic side here and then that's the uh, transmission rear end side there just looking at it real quick here it looks like the these frame rails are going to have to come off and uh, obviously this thing weighs a ton so it's going to be a project 